Well, good day, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on February 9th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another video for Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Starting out here, looking at the sun, 311 angstroms, checking out the large plasma filaments erecting from the northern hemisphere of the sun. We also have an earth-facing coronal hole right now that has since dissipated. And a departing sunspot you can see firing up here in the bottom right. We did have an increase in our solar wind speed yesterday, jumped up to about 600 kilometers per second. Minor space weather alert. KP index is sitting at two. Looking here at the annual spiral, showing space weather that is directed our way. Right now we are in the coronal hole wind stream, watching for an uptick in seismicity from around the world. This is the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Pretty quiet compared to a regular 24 hours, but sizable earthquakes happening and as well deep earthquakes happening. We're going to start out here with the large 6.2 Papua New Guinea. That was early, early this morning, and as well, 5.4. Two pretty deep earthquakes in Papua New Guinea, as well, Lambasa, Fiji with a 4.4, and New Zealand with a 5.2. Earthquakes still rumbling in Hawaii. Things have quieted down across the North American plate. 5.0 there in Greenland. I've got 5.1 here earthquake south of Africa at a 10 kilometer depth in the Antarctic and Africa. Plate line. This is the last seven days for earthquakes. A lot of deep earthquakes. You can see all those elevated lines and rings. It's been a very deep crustal movement week. Largest earthquake being the 6.2 that happened this morning, Papua New Guinea. But very quiet South America plate and as well African plate and into Eurasia. So stay aware and prepare, my friends and family. We do have a Mercury retrograde coming soon, so watch for an uptick in seismicity. Over here, looking at the Pacific Disaster Center, quite a situation and storm that swept across the United Kingdom and parts of Europe over the past 24 hours, canceling flights, knocking out power to some, but they recorded the strongest winds ever, breaking records, 97 miles per hour. Those are hurricane force winds spinning around in the Atlantic Ocean towards the Northern Pole towards the North Pole. This is not common. I, I can say that for sure. Um, but we're breaking records across the world when it comes to extreme weather and extreme temperatures. Our jet streams are way off. Our magnetic field is changing. So there's a lot going on in our planet. And I like to keep people aware and prepared. Looking here at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the latest disaster alerts from around the world. This is an app that everybody can get. You can stay aware and prepared too. Just gonna go through the list here and see if there are any new volcanoes that have erupted. Also going to show here, Tropical Cyclone Usi, Usi, which is a pretty sizable cyclone heading over Papua New Guinea in Fiji Islands, New Caledonia, and then we'll be moving south, southeast, just grazing New, New Zealand later in the week. But there are no new volcanoes to talk about. The big story today is the winter storm that is gonna be coming towards Eastern Canada and the United States as well looking at here this was tropical storm damien 
Now, Tropical Storm Damien made it onto land as a Category 2 cyclone in Northwest Australia, sending flood alerts there. Let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteo Mike, starting out here, home base, Calgary, Alberta, as still a very roller coaster ride of temper vari temperature variations here in the city. But things are about to get cold and snowy. This high pressure ridge south of us is going to be leaving, and then we have a northern high pressure ridge moving in next week, which will be bringing the cold temperatures. Watch over the next few days as an Alberta Clipper joins forces with a Colorado low to create a very large nor'easter for the Atlantic provinces and Ontario. Watch for heavy rains across southeastern United States and in the Gulf through Texas as this storm goes through later next week. Now, Alberta, the colder temperatures are going to be coming in probably... Uh, Tuesday into Wednesday, but not before an Alberta clipper forms here and dumps a bunch of snow in northern Alberta, BC interior, overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Still a large low pressure system here, heading towards the Alaskan Peninsula. Now, that is the large low pressure system I've been watching that left China a few days ago. We also have tropical depression here forming over Hawaii. Still not even an area of interest yet. And then this is the five day forecast for tropical storm Usi. And then we do have a lot of relief coming towards Australia, the southeastern parts. Watch for heavy rain, South Africa, right into the mainland as these heavy rains develop throughout the week. Cooler temperatures across Pakistan and into Turkey, bringing a lot of snow, higher elevations, and then this mess in the North Atlantic that is affecting the United Kingdom and parts of Europe. Just look at these large low pressure systems joining forces with other low pressure vortices. Man, oh man, what is going on in our Northern Hemisphere? Five day forecast is showing a very large low pressure system forming here, heading towards Greenland and Iceland. I'm gonna be keeping an eye on that one for sure. It will be a big story maker. Just overlooking the Northern Hemisphere right now, Thoughts and prayers to everybody that was affected by that very large tropical depression that affected the United Kingdom. Tropical Storm Claire. I wanted to show you here. This is uh, windy.com. The next 10 days for snow accumulation across the world. 250 centimeters accumulating BC coastline into Alaska. And with the old the Alberta Clipper that's going to be forming next week is probably going to bring about a foot of snow to northern Alberta. And then, yeah, we have the Alberta Clipper joining forces for the Nor'easter later in the week, bringing a foot of snow to parts of Ontario and into Atlantic Canada. 50 centimeters accumulating in Newfoundland. And then 10-day forecast showing here, United Kingdom... Western parts of the United Kingdom receiving about 90 centimeters. And then Norway, wow, 250 to 300 centimeters of snow over the next 10 days. Stay aware of prepared Norway. And just overlooking here, the Indies. 98 centimeters, 100 centimeters throughout parts of Turkey. We got 20 centimeters. Aleppo, Syria. Thanks everybody for watching today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to smash that like button. Much love to you all. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye.
If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.